today we're cooking a chicken garlic chili recommended uh, requested by Dave Owen known as Dawood. So I'm gonna cook this for as a request so there's a cup of oil going in. There's cardamom, about 10 to 12 cardamom, the Indian cassia bark, a few of these. These are mainly quite small, so about four, four of these. Four of them. This is just a special green mix that we do. It's got coriander, a bit of garlic, uh, ginger, peppers. So it's quite fragrant and flavoursome. Calm down a bit. It's got a bit of water, that's why it makes that noise because it's touching the oil. Let's calm down a bit now. So there's about a couple of medium onions and a few green peppers here. About two handfuls there. Let this cook about five minutes and cover the lid and cook it for about five minutes. Okay. So cover the lid, medium heat for about five minutes. That's about uh, one and a half uh, inch of ginger. Yeah. <laughs> Garlic there. For the spices, it's one teaspoon chili powder, about one teaspoon of um, this is cumin, and that's one teaspoon. So that's one, one teaspoon of garam masala, or just less. One teaspoon of uh, cumin. This is one teaspoon and a half of uh, coriander, and this is what, about one teaspoon of salt. Uh, this is the Bengali spice, which is the punch pearl. I'm going to add this in. About some tomato puree, I would say about three te teaspoons of tomato puree. I'm using less oil as you can see. I like it too early. Just gonna add. Just a little bit of water because I'm quite busy. I don't want the spice of the onion to burn. So I'm going to put this out while I'm working. That's going to be about 10, 10 minutes and then I'll throw in the other spices. In five minutes, we're just going to check on it. It's cooking nicely, the water helped. The oil it's sort of rising so you know it's getting cooked. Because this is a garlic flavour we're going to add the fresh garlic in now. That was about 10-12 about little cloves so one whole pot of garlic. One medium chicken in here. One medium and a half because I've used two chickens. Uh, I've got the 
rest of the chicken, I'm just gonna make a bit of a fry. So it's about one and a half. For 10 minutes, it literally takes about 20 25 minutes to cook this curry, so it's nice and easy. Just checking the chicken now, it's been about a further five minutes. And all the sauce. Uh, water from the chicken to release, and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. This is just the lentil side dish that I'm doing, just some spicy garlic, ginger, some Kashmiri dry chilies, and some green. It's really simple, just as a side dish. Check on the chicken. It's been a further five minutes. The water's releasing slowly. And I have the tomatoes now. There's a couple of uh, medium tomatoes here. That will also release some uh, sauce and water. Uh, about eight to ten green chilies just been last open. Five minutes and I'll be ready. Got the rest of the chicken, so it was two chicken, one, one and a half went into the curry, and the rest over here. And uh, this is just plain flour. Uh, that's cracked black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, about uh, just about half, uh, just a little bit more than a half a teaspoon of turmeric, haldi, and one teaspoon of chili powder. really needs to go here. This needs a good mix. So the chicken just needs to be coated in the flour. I want the spices to be as even as possible. On there, so okay. as you can see, there's, there wasn't any egg wash or anything, but it's covered. I'm pretty chuffed with that. So we've got a cup of oil over here. 
I'm not going to deep fry the chicken, it's not a shallow fry the chicken. Put it on medium heat. And this is going to be sort of our starter. And our main dish is obviously the chicken curry. Well, let's have a little check on it now. That's just the natural water from the chicken, so it released quite a bit of chicken, as well as the onions released and the tomatoes released. So, I mean, if it was for my customers, I'll be using the breast of chicken. But we like the chicken with lots of flavour, so we like the chicken and the bone. I'll cover this. That's cooking away in a very small gas. It's nice. The oil is bubbling away. There's a bit of water there, so I just washed it. Therefore, I put it on a bit of fire gas. Still on the oil. We just let this calm down for a bit. Let the water go away. The oil has calmed down now. I'm going to throw the chicken in. Bismillah. Using a spoon because it's quite messy. I hope the lads appreciate this as uh, the staff over here we enjoy a few different meals here and there just to boost the morale so this is going to be cooked about three or four minutes each side until it's ready um, flame is quite high i'm just putting it on medium and let that get cooked now let's check on the chicken it's been a further five minutes Chicken needs to get cooked. This is uh, one of my ingredients. It's actually a Patax brand garlic pickle. It's very nice. It's quite a sweet kind of taste to it. And I add this in some of the garlic specials. As you can see, there's fresh garlic in there. Quite a bit of flavour. So we're going to add one, two, about three. A free heat teaspoon. Give that a mix. The garlic in the curry is not fried, so it's almost getting roasted from the sauce. So I just need the garlic to soften. So it brings out a different flavour than fried garlic. Cover that in like 10 minutes. The chicken's looking good. I'm getting tempted to turn it, but I'm not going to. Blood is coming out. As you can see, it's getting cooked. Mm. Lentils cooking great. Now I was asked by the main man here to add a bit of shakora. So that's his favourite. This is a special request from my good friend Abdul Rashid. Uh, Ustad Rayan, if you're watching, you love this as well. So that's about it, really. One tablespoon. Now I'm going to use this condiment pickle oil because it's beautiful. Throw in a bit of coriander. A bit of mix. Well, and that will give it a further few more minutes for the flavours to marry up and it'll be good. So let's check on the chicken. Turn it around. It's 
not like a fried chicken, this is Bengali style chicken. Just oh. pour spicy fried chicken. And let that cook. Still on medium gas. Check the chicken. It's not ready yet as you can see. I'm actually going to put it on a high flame now. I just need the chicken to get cooked properly, the water to get removed. It's on high flame as you can see. The lentil. Once those bubbles are gone, the thick bubbles are there, you know, it's ready. Just have a couple more minutes, I would say. Away there. Um, this is the, um, the chicken main curry, the chicken garlic chili, it's been on high heat for a few minutes. Looking fine. I always like to mix every five minutes because sometimes it just sticks at the bottom, which we don't like. And the lentil. This on the heated country uh, until we're gonna eat. Okay. It's been about half an hour. Um, I'm gonna check on the chicken first. Just less than half an hour. It's been on high heat. It's almost sticking. So it's about where it is ready. This needs to thicken up and the oil needs to reduce on the top. I'm going to put this on sort of medium to slow heat. And let that cook for a further five minutes. Stick in here. Smelling nice, it's still not cooked as you can see. So, put that a turn. You can see it's not like you're using fried chicken. This is a traditional Bengali way. Making it. Crispy. It would have been easy to just pick in dress. But there's bone here. Different levels. Different cuts. It's got to be a bit patient. So I've actually cooked it for about 10 minutes, I will say this. So let that cook for another 10 minutes. About half an hour, 25 minutes, the chicken, so it should be all cooked now. I'm going to check this out now. Uh, the oil has risen to the top, so it's cooked now. As you can see, it's actually how I cook for the customers. So you can see the garlic there, green chilies are inside, chicken's well cooked. There's no sauce there, so it's in a nice thick sauce. So that's, uh, that's the chicken, that's the lentil. Out. Nearly cooked now. It's been about 15 minutes, I would say. It's got a nice crisp cold thing there. It needs to get well done, so it's going to be going to overcook or anything. It needs a crisp cold thing. Seems like, like it's about ready. Give it a few more minutes. 
and literally that's 35 minutes and we got ourselves a nice meal for us and the lads tonight. And we're finishing work, we've got about another hour to finish work. Um, I should enjoy this. He's, I finished his lentils, so uh, he's cooking a fresh batch. I don't think he's annoyed, but... It's actually looking quite good. I actually like to add tomatoes for a garnish, which I forgot to do. Uh, tomatoes. And this is optional, but it just has a nice little touch to it. Onions are cooking. Oh, good of garam masala Be done. And these are crisp away. And that's about it. Some of them are more caramelized.
think uh, we're going to ask some of the lads to taste it now. That's the main man here in front. Right, what do we have here? Spicy chicken. Mm. That is juicy. It's crunchy and juicy at the same time. Yep, 10 out of 10. Uh, fried chicken, please. For taste. Hey, Dad. Sorry. Yeah? <laughs> Wait up. <laughs> nah. I know, I know. Nah. <laughs> uh, Bangladeshi salad is going to have some red onions, white onions, green chilies, cucumbers, and tomatoes. Um, it's most of the dishes, most of the salad goes with uh, all, all the main food. So make sure, whatever you do, you like, subscribe uh, to the channel is Latif's Inspired. And the restaurant is based in Osage in Stoke on Trent, ST72 ES. Um, so have a look how we make the salad. Mm. That's all the diced finely tomatoes, just salad tomatoes, nothing special, cucumber. How many green chilies was there? Just the one. Just one green chili, finely chopped, red onions and a little bit of white onion, handful of coriander. That's a teaspoon, uh, just less than a teaspoon of salt, I hope. Half a lemon squeezed there. It's that one of tabbouleh style. Has to be mixed properly. If you go to any Bangladeshi household, all the time the salad is going to be similar to this. This was a request from a friend of mine, Wade. So here you go, this is how you make the salad. Very nice, very flavoursome and a fantastic condiment. <laughs>